Hi guys. Today will be I'll be showing you how I how I use the Xiaomi Gator version two as a security alarm as part of the security alarm module of the Home Assistant. So as you can see, the Xiaomi Gator is already into the dashboard and it's working. You can see the IP camera here, changing the light. It's working fine. Turn it off. I also have a few cartons, three Google Minis, Xiaomi motion sensors, those are window sensor, temperature sensor, but what we're gonna talking about, we're talking about this part. The home alarm dashboard. We have the the keypad. Arm home and arm, arm away. You can add a few more custom buttons if you want. I only have configured the arm home. The arm away will be done in the same manner. To arm the alarm, all you have to do is key in this, the number you've chosen, which is this, one, two, three, four in my case. If you don't want, to key in the, uh, the code to arm and disarm the alarm, all you have to do is delete this line. To be able to use this, you first have to add this code to the configuration file. Okay, save it, reboot the server. Let's see how it's, how it's working first, and then I'll show you my automations and the scripts I used. Okay, so key in the code. System armed. Ten seconds to exit. Okay, the system is now armed. If we trigger Alarm it. Alarm has been triggered. Please key in the code. Now, you have about five seconds to key in the code. Otherwise, the alarm will sound. Okay, so now you will change the color. Red, blue, red, blue, red, blue with the ringtone number one, and I've got the volume set to one because I'm still testing it. Okay, to disarm, one, two, three, and four, and disarm. The alarm has been disarmed. Okay, if you disarm the alarm, System before Ten seconds to the alarm sounds, obviously you will not sound. Let's see how it works. Alarm has been triggered. Please key in the code. Okay, so now let's say we just came home. The alarm has been disarmed. Okay, so how we achieve this? I don't know, maybe it's an easy, easy way. I used one, two, three, four, five scripts to arm and disarm the system into the home mode and one two three four scripts five automations and four scripts the first automation is system pending okay what is system pending if you look in here on the on the corner where's the the little icon when you key in the code and arm the system it first changes to pending system on. 10 seconds to exit Okay, so the alarm has been disarmed. The trigger is when the uh, panel control of the alarm changes from disarm to, to disarm to pending, the gateway will light green, brightness at maximum. The Google Home Mini I have in the living room will send this message and a delay of two seconds this is the system are pending after system pending automatically will run the system the arm alarm automation the trigger for the arm alarm is when the con alarm control panel changes from pending to arm 
what is going to happen. Let's see. System on. So, 10 seconds to exit. This is the first automation when it changes from this arm to arm. And this is the arm when it changes from pending to arm, like now. So what is happening now? The gateway light will turn off. And you will receive, I'll receive in my case, I'll receive a message on the phone, on my phone, with this message. Nothing more. The third automations we need is trigger alarm home. Now you have to set what sensor will trigger the alarm. In my case, I have a mini button, so I can, I have the doors and two doors and window sensors. For the away mode, it's basically the same, but you can also add the motion sensors. Okay. So this is the triggers, the sensors. There is a condition that the panel control will be in state and home, like now, and home. Yeah. Why we have these conditions? So to make sure that you open the door, the alarm will not sound unless the alarm is in on mode okay so what happens if any of these sensors trigger the alarm while it's in this state well, let's see let's alarm has been triggered please key in the code you get this message from the this google mini the light on the gateway turn uh orange you have a delay of five seconds and the state of the pa uh, panel control, alarm panel control, changes to trigger. Okay, so when it changes to trigger, let's let it sound. What it does will run automatically this automation, which is sound alarm. When the panel control changes to triggered, the light on the gateway will light red. And this script will be, will be run, which is this one. Okay. So this script says the gateway will sound this sound number one but this volume you can put this a hundred two seconds of delay and we'll run a second script which is flashing blue red okay and the flashing blue red what we'll do is change the color to blue two seconds delay change the color to red two seconds delay change the color to blue, two seconds delay, sound the, the ringtone number one of the gateway at the volume you desire, and then we'll run another script, which is flashing red-blue, which is this one. And what this script does is change the color to red, two seconds delay, change the color to blue, Two seconds delay, change the color to red, play this ringtone at this volume, and run again this script, which is blue red. At the end of this script, yeah, will be an action here to run again this script. So these two scripts will run in a loop forever. The alarm has been disarmed. Okay, to disarm the alarm, first we have these automations. Let's see what it does. 
trigger. When the control panel of the alarm changes to design, we'll run this script, which is design alarm. What this script will do, in case the, the, the built-in Xiaomi alarm sound will stop the alarm, will stop any ringtones from the gateway, will turn off the script, the light, will disable the script, will disable the script, which is the sound alarm, this, turn off the script, uh, flashing uh, light uh, blue red, and turn off the screen flashing light red blue. This mini Google Mini will play this message, and the alarm control panel will change to design mode, which is this. And now, if we open the door, press any button, nothing is happening. Demand 10 seconds to exit. The alarm has been disarmed. Okay, so why we have all these three scripts? If we only use the sound alarm and we only play the ringtone, this ringtone, this sound will only sound as for as long as the ringtone lasts. So if the ringtone only lasts 30 seconds, the alarm will only sound 30 seconds. The Xiaomi gateway cannot play the ringtone in a loop. So we have the other two scripts to create this loop and also to create the flashing color. While we have the pending alarm automations, if you want, you can skip this one. Uh, I just created this to have the color change yellow after you key in the code. Fifth demand, oh, 10 seconds to three. exit. And it will automatically turn off after the pending status changes. If you don't care about the light, you can easily. The alarm has been disarmed. You can easily delete this. If we disable this, all it does, the light will not flash, the message from the Google Mini will not play, but it still works basically in the same way. The alarm has been disarmed. Okay, I hope you liked the video. I'm sorry about the quality of the video and the sound. I'll try to do better videos in the future. If we have, if you have any questions, please use the comment uh, below. And uh, in case you have a better idea how to do this with less scripts, please let me know. Thank you.